One time, I was out running errands in the morning when I saw a turkey vulture perched on top of a light post facing the rising sun with its wings outstretched. It was such a beautiful sight, I wanted to find a place to just pull over and watch it for a while. Perhaps you've seen this eye-catching behavior from birds at some point. Turkey vultures aren't the only one to do the wing spread behavior. Cormorants do it too after diving, as well as anhingas and some storks, herons, hawks, and pelicans. The behavior of wing spreading has a unique name and is called horaltic pose although there are different reasons for why birds do it. Let's focus on the cormorant. Cormorants are skilled divers. It has long been thought that they have less preen oil on their feathers, making their feathers become waterlogged and therefore have the need to dry them after diving. The two studies I reviewed showed that it's not that the birds have insufficient preen oil. It is the structure of their feathers that makes them more able to retain water. This, in turn, helps them to have less buoyancy, which is advantageous for diving and pursuing fish. It should be noted also that their preen gland is a normal size when compared to other aquatic birds. So what about their feather structure makes their feathers retain water instead of repelling it? The central shaft of a feather is known as the rachis. The barbs are the parallel fibers that extend on both sides of the rachis. Projecting from the barbs are smaller barbules, which connect the barbs together with interlocking hooks and notches like Velcro. Researchers compared cormorant feathers to duck feathers and found that the level of water repellency is directly related to the barb and barbule diameter and their spacing. Cormorants have less space between the barb and barbules as well as a smaller diameter, making their feathers more wettable. I know, it sounds backwards, but it works like this. Think of the barbs on a cormorant's feathers as being like a sponge. There's not much empty space for water to escape, and there's a lot of surface area and material to absorb water. The barbs on a duck's feathers, on the other hand, are like a nylon scouring pad. There's lots of holes, and the material isn't designed to absorb water. On ducks, more spaces in between the barbs allow for greater water repellency. So, why do they do it? Researchers considered five different possible reasons. To dry the wings, maintain balance because of their rear foot placement, thermoregulation, signaling a successful capture or other information, and aiding in swallowing the fish they just caught. Of these five hypotheses, they determined the reason for cormorant wing spread is simply to dry the wings. The longer they've been in the water, the more water their feathers retain, and therefore, the longer the wing spread pose is held. They found that the birds tend to face into the wind during the pose, and the higher the wind speed, the shorter the duration of the pose. They also found that the birds tended to face away from the sun at low wind speeds. Researchers further discarded the theory that wing spreading is for thermoregulation, as they spend far too little time in that pose. Not to mention that cormorants are found not just in warmer climates, but in more northern latitudes where the weather is cooler as well. This is much different than anhingas, who are only found in subtropical or tropical climates, and use wing spreading for both wing drying and thermoregulation. They have low metabolic rates and high rates of heat loss. In fact, 31% of the bird's time is spent in horaltic pose. And in weather that's cool and sunny, they'll spend up to 88% of the time with wings spread. So there you have it. More fascinating facts about our amazing bird friends. Have you ever seen a bird in horaltic pose? If you have, let me know what species it was. Thank you for watching. That's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.